What's up peeps, it's your boy XE. welcome back to the channel. So this video is actually going to be kind of a shorter video because I don't really see myself going on for more than like four or five minutes on this topic. And quite frankly, I wasn't really planning to even make a video today, but this topic is just way too funny. So you're probably wondering, what is so funny about this topic? What made XE get off of his ass to make a video? So basically to sum it up in a few words, Burger King, they, they did a noopsie. So you're probably wondering, XE, what did Burger King do that was so bad? Well, let me go ahead and explain in the form of a story. So basically what happened is your favorite YouTuber, Xy, he woke up this morning and checked his phone like he normally does on every morning. And when he checked his phone, it seems as if he had heard of Burger King for the first time in a few years. Because when I tell you that Burger King is washed up, it is washed up. I mean, I genuinely have no idea how Burger King is still in business. But that's aside from the point. As I was laying in my bed looking like a damn fried onion, barely able to see anything because I had just woken up, I somehow was able to see that Burger King had tweeted that women deserve to be in the kitchen. Like, I'm legitimately not joking with you. Like, like Burger King legitimately posted this. Let's just go ahead and read out the entire tweet. Of course, they started out with the original tweet saying that women belong in the kitchen. They then follow it up with, if they want to, of course. Only 20% of chefs are women. We're on a mission to change the gender ratio in the restaurant industry by empowering female employees with the opportunity to pursue a culinary career. They then mention how they're launching a scholarship program which will help the female Burger King employees pursue their culinary dreams. Now, of course, people instantly got angry at Burger King thinking that Burger King, you know, assumed that females should be in the kitchen. Now, of course, that's just not true. I mean, let's be honest, like anybody can get any job that they want in this day of age. Yeah, I mean, I don't really understand why people are so mad about it. Like, yeah, maybe it wasn't the best thing to say to promote their program, but let's be honest, it worked, right? Everybody knows about this tweet now. I just can't really understand why people are getting so angry about this. Like, there are legitimately people screaming and crying because of this tweet. Like, controversial shit like this is really what gets the attention, and I feel like Burger King sort of nailed it in that aspect. So I did a little bit more digging, and it turns out that Instagram still has their Instagram post up where they're saying the exact same thing and I don't really know why it's still up. Like if it's such a problem for them on Twitter then it's still a problem for them on Instagram. It doesn't really make any difference but I still don't really get why people are mad. It was obviously meant in good intentions so it doesn't really make sense that people are mad about this. So my friend Toxin actually wanted to hop on the video so I thought I'd go ahead and hand off the mic to him so uh yeah enjoy. All right what's going on guys it's your boy Toxin and before I get into my part in this video I want to thank Xy for letting me hop on and man honestly this is probably one of the biggest mistakes Burger King could have made in their marketing department ever. And yeah, in my part of the video, I'm going to be discussing just how absolutely retarded their HR must be. So yeah, I guess let's hop into it. So like XE said earlier in the video, Burger King HR had the wise idea of tweeting out women belong in the kitchen. Now, for those of you who aren't already aware, it is the year 2021, right? And in the year 2021, Twitter and basically every social media app will attempt to cancel anything and everything. I mean, there was unironically an entire movement recently attempting to cancel Dr. Seuss, a literal dead man that wrote children's books. So I want to know what type of Schedule 1 drug the HR over at Burger King was on when they tweeted this shit. Like, genuinely, you must be f***ing barred out off Zans or high off a ton of weed to tweet out something like this. Especially from a verified company account. And I'm not gonna lie, I found it funny when I saw that Burger King tweeted this. I thought it was pretty amusing, and I liked and commented on it. Sadly, I'm gonna put money on the fact that the person that came up with this idea, A, got a huge raise, or B, they got fired for getting Burger King cancelled. Specifically, Burger King UK, surprisingly. So, I mean, I personally didn't have an issue with them doing this, but dude, they got cancelled so hard for that. Deep down, I think they did it on purpose because shock factor jokes basically make any tweet on Twitter blow up, especially if it's from a company like Burger King. Now granted, I don't think the Burger King Corporation is fiending for a f***ing Twitter clout, but at the end of the day, I don't know, I don't work at Burger King, I'm not a social media expert, I'm just a 14 year old drinking my coffee commenting on one of my friend's videos. But look man, it's a pretty funny situation and honestly genuinely surprised me. And at this point, there really isn't much on the internet that will genuinely surprise me, but this situation definitely did. And I wanted to put it out there that I also found it kind of funny that people were attempting to cancel a f***ing burger chain like i'm sorry but how much crack do you have to be on to try and cancel a franchise they have thousands of restaurants all over the u.s that's like the equivalent of trying to cancel amazon or a f***ing car insurance company nobody gives a shit you're talking about social media this is a corporation now i personally didn't go through all the comments on the burger king uk twitter but i'm guessing people were pretty angry especially because everyone in 2021 is hypersensitive and honestly will get their panties in a wad over literally any joke and i literally stand by that people literally get angry at a spanish person speaking spanish for a joke 
when at the end of the day they're Hispanic. Like, bro, you can't be racist towards yourself. But no, overall, I found this situation pretty funny, and I think this actually knocked cancel culture's ego down a couple pegs because they realized they just couldn't cancel Burger King. Hopefully, Burger King doesn't go back to being fucking sensitive as shit because that was absolutely hilarious, and yeah, that's all I really have to say for my part. If you did enjoy my part in this video, feel free to drop a sub on my channel. I greatly appreciate it. And yeah, I'll pass the mic back to Exy. Alright peeps, so well, that's gonna be it for me. If you did enjoy this video today, then please be sure to subscribe to Toxin's channel and my channel and leave a like on the video or Dream himself will hold you hostage. That's right, Dream himself will hold you hostage. But yeah, thank you all for watching today. I'll catch you all later. Peace.